Welcome. This is Barry Jones from Angelic Wisdom, and we're here for our monthly angel scope for the sign of Scorpio for the month of October 2022. So before I begin, I'd just like to begin by welcoming everyone back to this monthly series. And whoa, I think I forgot somebody's birthday, but okay. Um, <laughs> to welcome you back to this monthly series and to also welcome anyone who is new to the Angelic Wisdom community. So I'm going to keep this part brief since it, I've already discussed more in detail um, some of these things um, in the monthly general angel reading. So that's the first thing I want to alert you about is to go check that reading out if you haven't seen it. I think it's been up for uh, since the last end of last week. Uh, Thursday. Um, I can't remember what the date was, but anyway, you know what I mean. And um, there's going to be a link below this video. It's probably the first one you see in the description area. Also, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do that right now. So like the all notification bell, like, dislike, and leave comments. Um, introduce yourself. And also, if you're at the end of this video, if you feel called to have a, an angel reading with me, you may go to my current webpage, theangelschool.com slash services and select the um, first time promotional offer, angel reading, which is my discounted one hourly reading. Um, this has been uh, made available to everyone unlimited as this is my 10th anniversary year on YouTube. And also if you just want to support my channel um, with any size monetary uh, gift, my PayPal me link is below as well. Okay. Um, and now finally for the format. So the first card that you see in front of you uh, in, the, in the center is a message from the Archangel that you'll be working with in this month. And then the cards on the left and right are um, from a message from your guardian angel. But this card represents a card from the major arcana, which represents the major lessons and themes. And this is one from the uh, minor arcana, which highlights how that energy is going to show up in the day-to-day -day awareness for you. All right, so let's take a deep breath together. And just relax and um, just let yourself go. And just allow your angels to connect with you. And just pay attention to your body. Now, I don't know, this is a little different, but I was seeing it earlier too. And I think it's more about energy than anything. But it, it seems like um, for you, Scorpio, you, you need to really pay attention to your physical energy. So I just see someone like lying um, flat, um, maybe on a, a, a bench or a bed. Um, it, it can even almost be like sort of hospital-ish, you know? Like um, if you don't take care of your energy, you could end up getting sick in some way um, or having some kind of physical pain or suffering show up. So really take care of your energy. But there were all these uh, beautiful different color flowers around you. It's, it's weird to say this, um, but it felt like like um, was it one of the, the fairy tales of like Sleeping Beauty or something like that. Um, and so, yeah. And then there was something else I saw, which I cannot remember now. Oh, a, a gateway opened up. So the gateway for me is a dimensional shift, which will open up new opportunities. It's, it's a very, you know, when that a gateway is open, it's an opportunity to really have a um, sort of rapid transformation. It's open to you, but you've got to be open to it and or you have to have energy to, you know, go go through that process nothing no process is perfect no process is going to be like you know a bed of roses it's always going to be imperfect but it can it's up to you what you choose to focus on the universe is made up of the negative and positives but it, everywhere 
everything is made up of these um, energies, opposing energies, but these polarities, but the thing is, is what our human consciousness focuses upon. Does it focus on the negative or the positive? Because that is how the law of attraction, um, it's almost like a, the grid is that specific, um, taps into what it, your reality will turn into. So if you can imagine a grid that's just made up of negative and positive, negative and positive, and, and, and the, the lines, it may look like, you know, um, like a grid paper that has grids on it, right? The lines. But if you look really, like, you know, it's like dot, dot, dots, but it's really positive, negative, positive, negative. And so whatever we focus on is what it ends up being for us. So that's why your energy care is very important. I feel like the flowers are about Scorpio, spend time in nature, okay? Bring flowers into your home, you know, treat yourself, even if it's just a, a flower, anything that makes you feel good, or bring plants into your home, or go out in nature where it's free, you don't have to pay for it at all, and and really connect with the nature spirits to rejuvenate your energy when you're out there, so that you can make this transitional um, paradigm shift that the gateway is opening for you, but also so that you can have it boost your, your your time in nature will boost your thoughts, enhance them to have a perspective of beauty, which will key you right in to all those positives in the grid, which will mean that that gateway opening will be of full of abundance, blessings, and rewards. Okay? So any of these gateways can take you because and it's not about up or down, like heaven and hell, or it's good or bad. It's just, it's always there, present. Every grid, every dimension, the same thing. Every life experience you've ever had was always the same. You might talk about that past experience like with such negativity. And it's only that because that's what you chose and what you still choose to see or Right. And that's why the whole thing of the earth being a school and lessons is about. It's just really about perception. It's not about I need to fix myself and, 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 and get rid of this is I need to see reality. First of all, the first reality is that the universe is neutral. What you call good and bad is not any of that. When I felt like when I was describing, trying to describe this to you very clumsily, that it was as if it felt like I was um, a computer technician who sees a grid or a motherboard and he just sees the technology. He doesn't have a lot of judgment about it because for him, it's the technology. He understands that this has to be this way in order for this to do this and for it to work this way. And it's sort of the same thing. You need to understand that life isn't beautiful. Life isn't awful, ugly. Life isn't this. Life isn't that. Life is neutral. Now, we need some kind of um, opinion, for lack of a better word right now. Like, we need beauty to uplift us. Just like if we choose um, negativity, it's going to bring us down. So we do have to make a choice because that's where the free will part comes in. But we're not supposed to jump to conclusions, make assumptions about what's in front of us. So right now you may have experiences that are in front of you and they're draining you because you keep choosing to see, to, you keep making assumptions before getting to understand what that experience is going to offer. And then that's draining you because if you're not at least neutral, balance is balance as uh, oneness of the universe is wholeness then everything drains you like it's why sometimes you can experience can be very positive and still drain you because you aren't really being neutral you're judging and so that's how we get on our like uh I'm trying to say not our high horse but it's like sometimes we feel like because we're too good we're too good for everything else and that is going against the laws of the universe oneness because everything is equal 
because positive, negative, positive, negative, it's just like that, right? That's how the energy is divided it's evenly. And while, while we keep thinking of the world universe in terms of that or that, it's really a universe. Those things create wholeness, meaning those positive, negative, positive, negative create a bowl, creates a plant, creates a war, creates a bomb. But the thing is, is that it just creates. And if you think about it like that, that's neutral. And then your divine, your divinity allows you to choose what you want to create, beauty or that. But your judgment or your abuse or your over exaggeration or of either just makes them draining to you. All right. So let's take a look at the Archangel that you're working with in this month. Okay, and this is Archangel Sandal Phone. So this is really about Archangel Sandal Phone says tune into your divine potential. Bring the world into harmony. And that discussion is how you bring the world into harmony. Whatever is calling you forward in that gateway, stop making judgments and assumptions. Wait to experience it. Because if you leave those judgments and things behind, you will be in a new frequency. That's what that assures you. If you bring that experience of judgment with you, you will remain in the same frequency, but it will, because it's a dimension shift, it will just exaggerate what the what you were already experiencing or minimize it. But if you come without these preconce preconceptions, then you are available to a whole new reality, a whole new world. And Archangel Sandalfoam um, activates your divine blueprint for you and helps you to come tune into it and get into alignment with it. So how he's playing that flute, tuning. So pay attention to the tuning of your experiences. When the tuning doesn't feel like, like a pitch, if you hear a pitch, it either causes your body to contract because it's, it's, it's off, flat, or sharp, or it causes your body to completely expand and relax because it's just resonating with you and every possible way. So pay attention to your tuning. Tune to a uh, tune in to your potential. Tune in to what's av available to you now. All right. Boy, this card keeps coming up a lot and this is extra special in this time because you got the trumpet and the flute here. So, we have this Again, this is talking about that you have an opportunity to leave something behind and begin again. So with this card, the judgment card, which is interesting because we've been talking about this, but it's titled Renewal here, because when we don't judge, we have opportunities for renewal. And so the the sense I'm getting from this card is this is about, you know, leaving something behind, forgiving let, letting go of whatever the past is and then opening up to whatever heaven has in store for you behind those clouds of illusion. So you got to go through those clouds because you have to surrender the illusions. The clouds, when you get to, they might look like they block our vision, but if you get up to them, they just dissipate, right? All right, um, so there is really, you're going to really feel a strong call in some way. And this tuning in, tune into your potential. See what resonates with you and what does not. Really pay attention to the tuning as if the pitch is on, is is dead center, or it's just off. Because you, you get that in this tuning, dead center is is wholeness. 
If you think of a circle, no matter how you divide the circle up, the circle still represents wholeness. That's God. You and I inside of it may be dividing things up and everything may be unequally uh, proportioned, but it's still, for God, whole. You see, you and all of what you're doing is still wholeness, oneness. So in your tuning, the oneness of wholeness is to tune, be centered in that pitch. The duality, as we conceive the concept of positive and negative, is just sort of like sharp or flat. But center is something else. That's the transcendent choice or voice. That's that, that transcendent meaning above duality. Never thought of that before, but that's what Archangel um, Sandophone is trying to help us understand about why, you know, when people try to say it's not about good or bad or right or wrong, this is what is meant. Because you and I and everything that happens in this world is in oneness, like a circle. No matter how unevenly it's divided, and to us, some things seem fair, not fair, beautiful, not beautiful, good, bad, et cetera, et cetera. But all of that is just sharp, flat. It's not center, it's not wholeness, which means when you're centered, all of the circle, all of its imperfections are integrated as a harmonious oneness experience. So it's a profound lesson that you going to be going through. But it goes back to that energy thing. Now, here's the four of air. And for me right now, because that card usually shows the person laying back on the grass. Well, it's as is, I described it, isn't it? Out in nature, you know, sort of with the grass here, but there were flowers in my vision. But the, but the card sometimes has come up if somebody's ill. Um, and so I'm going to say to you, Scorpio, that this is an important life change. This is an important decision um, to be healthy physically, but it, that it's not the health, physical health that's first, it's the spiritual health. And that it's some, it seems it's important that if you don't make these changes, attune to your spiritual health, tune your spiritual health, that it might create some physical health issues that I don't want to, I'm, well, I feel like it, yeah, this could just be, this could have some long-term effects. So if you've been, you know, about eating properly or changing your career so that your, your, your blood pressure and all this thing can lower, um, if you love life, then make these decisions and don't waver on them any longer. And don't look at the consequences as negative or positive. Center center, tune what resonates. Because there's resonance, what, what is resonating, centered pitch versus sharp or flat. Great example of what I've been trying to get at for, for years in my heart, but didn't know I was trying to do say that. All right, so again, this card is going to say for you to relax more in your life, right? Relax, don't put pressure on yourself to to be perfect, to get things right, but do your the best you can. Take more time for yourself. Take more time to breathe. Take more time to recuperate when you need it. When you feel like your energy drain, don't push yourself. You know, and I'm saying psychological. Um, so if you're, you know what, I think this is about mental health. This is what they're talking about more than the physical. It's mental health. So. Um, which then I will put it this way, because I'm just saying the word psychological, then that means that you could have sort of a mental breakdown if you don't make certain changes or you'll develop some kind of mental health issue. But really take care of your mental health. Take more, um, what do they call those days? You know, mental health days. I mean, take off, you just tell your boss, I need a mental health day, right? Um if you've been getting reports from your doctor about anything, your your health, then follow this guidance, okay? All right. So Scorpio, I send you lots of love and angel blessings and have a beautiful month of October. God bless you.